Hi, I'm here from Niche. You could be paying over 10% standard variable rate if you do not get a move on and get yourself organized because lenders' rates, when you come off your fixed rate, are going 8, 9, 10%. Okay, so you could be coming off that 1% going over to 10% if you do not act right now. There's millions of people that are coming off a fixed rate. So let's look at some of those lender rates and what to do if you have got a mortgage that's coming up in the next year. Well, right, today we're going to name and shame some lenders in terms of standard variable rates. So where are these lenders standard variable rates when it comes to you coming off your fixed rate and going on to their own rates? Now, some of these rates are tracking the Bank of England base rate. Others have got their own rates. So they've all got different models. Uh, different lenders have got different standard verbal rates based on their funding lines, how they secure deposits, really. Uh, some lenders get, uh, obviously, deposit money in savings. Other lenders are not banks, so they have to go and buy the money from other institutions. So it's not them essentially being greedy. Um, it's how they're funded. But it gives you a good insight of what's going to happen once your fixed rate runs out. And we're talking about millions of people in the next year. Um, their fixed rates running out. So you've got a couple of options and we'll talk about what happens when you come off your fixed rate. But let's look at some of these rate lenders and we're going to look at the residential lenders and then we'll look at the buy to lets as well. But um, let's have a look. So some of the high ones here, Aldermore Bank 8.98, Barclays 7.99. Now this chart may be out of date so just don't, don't take it in context because I've already had a memo for example today from Virgin who've said uh, they're going to increase their rates, standard verbal rates, 8.74 for residential and on buy-to-lets going up to 8.94. So if you've got a buy-to-let mortgage and you're coming off a 2% buy-to-let mortgage rate with Virgin, if you don't secure a new product with them or if you do not um, get a, a, a remortgage, it goes elsewhere. Maybe you're not in the right position to do so. Maybe the rental calculation doesn't fit. But a lot of the a lot of the ways, most lenders will allow you to do a product transfer. What that means is if you contact them beforehand or your broker, you contact your broker, we will be able to give you options of what to do before this rate hikes up. Imagine that, guys. There are people that have had buy-to-let mortgages at one and a half percent, two percent, and then they're going to go on this eight point nine four. So, the the key is is really do your homework beforehand before you get to this stage. So let's have a look at some of the other rates here. Uh, Cambridge Building Society seven point five four, Coventry a big building society six point nine nine, which is pretty decent compared to everybody else out there. Um, foundation home loans. Notice some of these older malls, foundation home loans. These ones are they're predominantly buy to let lenders although they do do residentials as well 9.49 Halifax 7.99 one of the UK's biggest lenders well done to HSBC 6.99 okay Ken Reliance 8.25 so looking at here uh, Metro Bank 7.75 nationwide the biggest building society out there 7.74 NatWest 7.49 uh, Paragon a big buy to let lender specialist buy to let lender 8.85 uh, platform, which is part of co-op, 7.12. Santander, 7.75. So, um, yeah, I mean, you get an idea of, you know, some of the hikes, TSP 7.99. So, the biggest one that I can see so far, if we go on the buy-to-let front, is some of the specialist buy-to-let lenders. You've got CHL at 9%. Okay, BM Solutions, big buy-to-let lender, 8.84. Bluestone Mortgages, now they predominantly deal with a lot of adverse sort of stuff so 10.05 and we'll talk about some of the strategies around that on the buy to let front look Barclays 8.99 on buy to let Halifax 8.84 on buy to let HSBC 7.10 let's move down here guys let's move down I saw one uh, it was Pepper let's have a look at Pepper's here I think Pepper was one of the highest out there Quantum 10.50 uh, so, you know, some of these specialist lenders are, uh, oh yeah, Pepper don't do buy to lets anymore. So if you go on residential, I I'm sure I saw a high one for them as well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Am I missing it? Uh, P, 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 Pepper, 9.55. So, 
you know, eye-watering standard verbal rate. So what you should be doing is really between three to six months before, depending on different lenders, is you need to contact your uh, mortgage broker because the mortgage broker, what they can do is they can compare what the products that you will be offered by your existing lender and compare that to the market to see if it's worthwhile you going to a different lender and obviously saving yourself some money or if your circumstances why would you stay with the same lender well maybe you're stress tested if you're a buy to let you can't make it work so you've got to stay with that lender because if it's a, just a follow-on product with many lenders they don't stress test it anymore okay they'll just give you a new product um, so that's one of the biggest reasons why people are doing that. Another reason is a lot of the lenders, uh, their affordability rules are a lot more lax if you're staying with them. As a broker, we still have to run affordability, but it's easier essentially to stay with the same lender rather than go elsewhere. But don't just take what the lender's giving you, okay? Look, you've just seen some of the big banks out there have got very high standard variable rates. So you do not want to be comfortable and get yourself in this situation and then you're running around in the last minute trying to do a remortgage. Remortgages are taking a little bit longer. There's just a lot more uh, problems in the system right now. There's a, and the reasons for that is lenders are busy with down valuations, pro product withdrawals, new products coming in. You've got the Bank of England rate uh, always, always changing. So there are service issues within there and the solicitors have got those issues. So what you want to do is you want to prepare it, get in touch in a, uh, to your mortgage broker and give them the time to actually give you the best deal. Remember, six months beforehand, a lot of the lenders, you can start the work so and you can have the best of both worlds. If interest rates go up, you can lock in at six months before rates, essentially. And you get because you, essentially most mortgage offers are valid for three to six months, depending on the lender. So if rates go up, you've got what your rates are. If the rates go down, you could either approach the same lender and get a new product with them or you can go elsewhere and shop around because you have time. So give yourself some time. Look at these rates, guys. It's absolutely eye-watering. So just be prepared and get yourself uh, organized. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.